Well, I have one big, big problem. So here we have it now set up with my gaming keyboard, my Corsair gaming keyboard. This is a, a 10 keyless keyboard, but as you can see, just simply by moving in the stands a little bit, it fits on very well and is very firm in place. I've plugged the USB key in and immediately it found the software. So the next thing then is to look at what setup options we have for it in that software. The roller mouse red then is fully plug and play and there are basic adjustments that you can make to it. Now I've gone to the desktop view and if I click on the start button and type in mouse, it brings up the mouse settings option. Click on that and it brings up the setting pane for the mouse. And then we can swap over the left and the right click as the primary click button. The reason for that, in my case, I preferred it swapped over because I can just rest my thumb on the right click button using my right hand, uh, typing away on the keyboard or scrolling on the mouse. And just by lightly pressing with my thumb, I can click on whatever I want to. Or just at the bottom, you, of course, you've got the double click button and you can double click as well. So it's just a little tiny movement of my thumb and everything can be done quite easily. And then, of course, use the left hand, in my case, click on that, and the context menu comes up. If you want to have a bit more control over the mouse, there are some beta drivers available, and these are still a work in progress, so they're not perfect. That said, I've not really had any problems with them. I've set them up the way I want them, and they seem to be working fine. They've caused no issues that I know of. I'll just show you where they are. What you need to do is open your browser window. Type in Contour Design. And of course, that is with a U in Contour. And then your first list in there click on drivers and the first one at the top roller mouse free 3 roller mouse pro 3 roller mouse red v2 uni mouse it's all one set of drivers and they are in beta click on that you get the download window and then you save the zip file I'll just move this across. Then you can just open the zip file, unpack the drivers, and then double click on that a normal install. Once they're installed, you can actually adjust virtually everything on the roller mouse, every button. Now I did say in my unpacking, that there were five programmable buttons. My mistake, I forgot to mention that the actual roller itself has a button as well. Now that's used as a primary click button as well as your right button in the normal case or left button, whichever way you have it set up. If I minimize that then, and we go now to the Contour Design drivers, that's my shuttle and pointing device is the one I want. Click on that and then open the driver. And as you can see, it's quite fully featured already. You've got cursor sensitivity. Now I haven't actually changed anything. Everything's set to stock at the moment, apart from one thing which I will show you in a moment. The cursor sensitivity I will if I was keeping it, have to adjust because it can be a little bit oversensitive sometimes. So I, I'd probably turn it down to about 50% rather than the 65 to 70% it's set to as default. 
Acceleration, I don't use any acceleration. It seems to accelerate quite well anyway. Cur and cursor end detection and drift. When you get near to the end of the screen, it actually stops. It won't go any further. It detects the end. So no matter how big or small your screen is, the difference between the distance from one side of the roller as you slide across to the other side is always detected by the software. So that, that's a, a very clever little feature as well. At the moment I've got it in slow and that seems to be fine for me. Scroll speed, again, I haven't changed that. It seems to be fine and of course you can invert it. Now we come to the, the power stuff of this particular set of drivers, the buttons and the wheel. As you can see, you can configure each and every button. And looking at this, I've forgotten the game, haven't I? There's actually six buttons. You've got the two top buttons, the two main left and right buttons, the double click button. You've also got a button under the roller and then a button under the scroll wheel. You can basically click on it and configure it whichever way you want. At the moment, I haven't changed this. It's all stock. And as you can see, it's all set up as a normal mouse would be. Primary left click, secondary click on the right. Uh, I have switched that in the Windows driver, so that's switched over at the moment for me. But you can switch it over and probably be better to switch it over in the actual main drivers, the, the contour drivers themselves. The, the wheel has a primary click on it. Uh, the two top keys here are set up as copy and paste. Going a bit further, if we click on the application specific look here, you can see that I've got Chrome set up at the moment. And the moment I open Chrome and it has the focus, then these drivers will change the buttons at the top from copy to paste to back and to forward for me. And then the button on the scroll wheel, it's changed now to a reload or a refresh button. You can do this with any, any program you've got. So if I go and create a new, Program files, and let's see if we can find Firefox. It's under Mozilla usually. There we go. Use that double click key, the bottom key. Choose the program itself, Firefox. And this little box is just slightly at the screen here, but that's just confirmation that I want to use Firefox. And now I can configure Firefox. So if I want to do the same for Firefox and put this as a back, this is a forward and this is refresh, all I do is click on the little highlight there. And then I've got loads and loads of options. You've got your default, of course, primary click, middle click and all the rest down there. You've got fourth and fifth, which is what we're looking for. So we're looking for back. So I click on that and we got fourth click back. So that now in Firefox will be a back key. There is another way of doing it as well. So if you go into this one here, we'll configure the second one. Now, instead of going to fourth and fifth, we can go down to custom actions. And this brings up yet another pane. If we then click on keyboard, and key list. We can then program that to the function keys, any of them. Motion and editing keys. Numeric keys. Multimedia keys, which is the one we need. I'll come back to that. And then special keys. So if we go back to multimedia, we got internet browser. And there again, we've got another option for having back or forward. So we can actually program the drivers in this as well for Firefox for back and forward or refresh. So if I go forward and OK, 
So now we've got one for back, one for forward, and then the last one, that's the scroll, we don't want to do that one. We want the next one up, that's the one. And we go into custom actions again. Bring that back into the screen so you can see. And then we go keyboard, key list, multimedia keys, internet browser, refresh. It really is as simple as that. You can program these keys so many ways to do so many things in any program you've got. So if you've got a media program that you want to program the keys for, for scrubbing backwards or forwards or cutting or pasting, you can do that. If you've got a video editing suite, you can program the keys multiple ways for the video editing suite. It really is a very powerful set of drivers. I have been using this in conjunction with the Conto Shuttle Express, and I have used it constantly for the last week and a half since I received it from Conto, given it a thorough test out. I haven't used any other mouse. I've edited the last two videos and this video on it, and it's been a dream to use. It really is. It makes editing so much easier than having to go through hotkeys. You can just use the keyboard, program the keys, use the Shuttle Express, and you can do everything virtually without touching any of the keys unless you're typing in some text. So that is the Contour Roller Mouse Red Wireless. So what are my final thoughts on it then? After over a week of using it, constantly, giving it a thorough tryout, configuring very easy configuration via the drivers that come with it. Well, I have one big, big problem. And that problem is that for many years, I've tried out many new mice that were supposed to be a replacement for the traditional mouse. And they've all failed to live up to the expectations or I've had a huge learning curve that meant that you had to spend hours and hours learning how to use the mouse. With this, the Contour Roller Mouse Red wireless, uh, there was none of that. It was easy to get used to. It surprised me how easy it was to get used to. Within an hour, I was using it fully. Within the day, I didn't want to stop using it. So it's extremely easy to learn to use. The functionality is excellent. I cannot fault it anyway. The drivers, yes, they are in beta, but they are very, very good. You can set the mouse up any way you want, and it truly does make things so, so much easier. So what's my problem with it? Well, the problem is I have to send it back, and I really don't want to. I have to say a huge thank you to Conto Design for sending it to me for review and for trying it out. And if you want to buy one of these and you want to try it out yourself before buying, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee with it. I can't recommend it enough for anybody in a professional use. It is absolutely amazing. And with the added benefit of the various armrests that come with it, it can be configured to any use for standing desks, sitting desks, or any other type. Again, thank you to Contour Design, and to you all, thank you for watching.